In this video, you will see how to set up your paper using Microsoft Word 2010 in the 6th edition of APA style. First, you want to start with a blank document. Uh, set your font to Times New Roman and your font size to 12 point. Click on Insert and then select Header and select the first header option called Blank. And then in the header design ribbon, you want to select the different first page because in APA, your first page is a little different than the rest of your headers. Now you want to set the font in the header to Times New Roman in 12 as well. So the difference for the first page is before your title comes the words running head and then a colon. The title of your paper is going to be in all capital letters right after the running head part. After you type the title, tab over a couple of times to get to the right hand side of the header and then you're going to insert your page number. Click on insert, page number, current position, plain number and that's all you need to do for the, the first page. Double click or close the header to get out of it. And now you're going to set up the title page of your paper. First, we're going to select the little arrow next to paragraph to set up our double spacing, and this will make it double spaced throughout the whole paper. And then if this after is set to 10, you just want to change it to zero. So both of these are zero, and the line spacing is double and then select OK. Next, you're going to center the text on the page by clicking on the center button up here in paragraph and then you're going to hit the enter key three or four times to get to just about the center of the page. You can just eyeball it. Now you're going to type the full title of your paper And the full title is put in what is called proper title case format, where you only capitalize the major words in the title. So you don't capitalize any of the prepositions or and or the, unless it's the first word of the title or the first word after a colon in the title, which is the subtitle of your paper. After that, you're going to type your name and then the institution or the school which you're submitting the paper to. Now to get to the second page of the paper, we're going to go back up to insert and select page break. And that brings us to the second page and we're going to open up the header. Now we need to fix it once again. We need to change it uh, to Times New Roman in 12 for the font. And then you're just going to type the title of the paper in all capital letters, no running head this time. Tab over once again and then insert your page number in the current position in the plain number. And now you're finished with your header and you don't have to open it or change it again. The second page of your paper is typically the abstract. For your abstract, the word abstract goes above it centered Underneath it, you're going to type the actual abstract, and that goes left justified, meaning all the lines start over on the left-hand side. You don't have to indent any one of them. Underneath that are your keywords. You're going to choose your own keywords that describe what your paper is about. Keywords is italicized, and this line only is centered underneath the abstract. So you're going to pick out the major theme or subjects that are covered in your paper, and you would include those in the keywords. Now we're going to do one more page break to get to the third page and as you can see our header is set up for us. We're going to type our title one more time okay the title of your paper on the third page is going to be centered and again it's in the proper title case format and then you're going to hit the enter key to get to the next line and then left justify. And the rest of your paper is going to be normally typed 
uh, with indentations for each new Okay, so I have some writing here. And in the text of the paper, you of course want to make sure that you're using your in-text citations to show where you got your outside information from. Once you finish the text of your paper, the body of the paper, you're going to go to the last line and you're going to insert a page break to get to the next page. Um, and this is where your references are going to go. So once again, we're going to center this and we're going to type the word references at the top. And then we're going to go back to our left justify and that's where we're going to list all of our references. So here are my references for this paper. They are alphabetized by the first word that's listed in the reference. Um, they are double spaced and once I have them all typed out in, in order then I can highlight all of the references and put in my hanging indent. Click on the little arrow next to paragraph again and under indentation you see here there's one that says special you can select hanging there and that shows you down below exactly what it's going to do. The very first line of each reference is left justified and then any subsequent lines are indented a half an inch and that's what a hanging indent looks like.